What's going on people? Welcome back to the Trumpet Studio. I'm Recio. Today we're going to talk about a $100 pocket trumpet. Would you play it? I'll let you know what I think about it. Roll the intro. <laughs> So, we're going to open up this Mendini pocket trumpet. Got my handy dandy little knife. The reason I bought this was because I was on a trip and I was traveling and I didn't want to check a bag and wanted to find a way to have a, a trumpet that would fit inside my backpack and also have other things to pack so I can just share it while I was on, while I was on vacation. And um, we got a new airport and I I was trying to relax so I didn't want to have to deal with the hassles of taking my my big horn and no extra storage on a trip so I was like let me see what it'd be like to play on a cheap pocket trumpet um just so I can keep my chops in shape not something to perform on so I bought I ordered this and I'm gonna check it out and I'll let you know what I think um so yeah cool let's get it Alright, unboxing. So, I'm gonna cut open the box. It's pretty small, which I would expect from a pocket trumpet. Um, what I do know about pocket trumpets is they are the same length of a regular trumpet. So, everything's just condensed. And so, it comes in a nice little package. A little case. Get rid of this box. <laughs> All right, so small little case, nice and small. Will fit in my backpack easily, I'm sure. I'm gonna pop open the, the handle and let's see. trying to show y'all but I'll turn it towards me and then I'll let y'all see what I see. Alright, so comes wrapped has some um, card from the company talking about how to use valves. I guess we already knew, know how to use those. Some gloves it looks like and a shining cloth. Some valve oil. I likely won't be using that. <laughs> and it also comes with a mouthpiece. That's cool, I guess. A 7C. Looks like a regular student model. Mouthpiece. And some some gel to keep the smell away, I suppose. Comes nice and wrapped in a little bag. I've heard that people clean their horns with these, which I think is funny. Uh, let me get rid of the case. And here it is. Got the nickel finish. Um, that'll feel nice. Which that's honestly to be, be to be perfectly honest with you, that's what I was expecting to be like the biggest problem. But these feel nice and smooth. I mean, I doubt that'll last very long. Four hundred dollar trumpet, but feels good for right now. Uh, it has a main tuner slot, a third valve slot, but it's on the first third first valve in the place where the first valve usually is, first valve slot usually is. Usual water keys. Um, I'm not gonna use this mouthpiece, but I have my mouthpiece here. My uh, Monet B2 that Scotty Barnhart gave me. Don't know if he was supposed to give it to me because me is a test model, but <laughs> I have it now. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna get myself situated so I can open this up, but mouthpiece fits the same. Bell looks a little smaller than usual. This is my practice mute. Let's see if it fits in. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, the bell is smaller than a regular trumpet bell, but the mutes fit just fine. So that works. Let's see. Well, I mean, 
That felt good. Yeah, I mean, I'll bust it open with the, uh, without the mute, but the mute in, what my goal is to use it for is to like practice with mute in on vacation to keep my chops in shape, work on some ideas, practice music. So far, so good. Alright, so I'll run this through a couple tests and see what y'all think about it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> 